who would you be if you did this for 40 days? Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rahoza, and if this is the first time that you're seeing my face, then welcome. It's so nice to have you here on the channel. If you are a spiritual leader, Tonight, I am hosting a masterclass called Become an Empowered Leader. It's gonna be live on Zoom at 5 p.m. EST if you guys wanna join it live, or if you're watching this video after the fact, then you can watch the replay for free. Link in the description down below. I can't wait to see you guys face to face, or if you're watching the replay, I cannot wait to hear what you think. It's in like 10 days from the time that I'm filming this, and I've already put a lot of it together, and it's gonna be value packed. So get yourself in this room. I can't wait to hear your thoughts. Without further ado, let's get into today's video. Okay, so today's video is inspired by actually my coach. Her name is Sophia, the Mind Palace on Instagram. And she inspired me with this video because she actually started a 40 day challenge where she brought together a group of like 20 or so girls. It was hosting like a telegram chat where it's 40 days where we have to each let something go in our lives. And at first I was like, I don't know, like what, what should I let go of? I can't really think of like what's holding me back right now. And then how I kind of went about the process was I asked myself, okay, what are, what are my goals? Where do I want to be? Okay, let's just, I'm going to use my top two things that I'm focused on right now. So I'm just going to keep it simple for this video. Number one, I want to be in my dream body whole process in and of itself. Right. But I want to finally face the things that I have been avoiding. And I feel like it was a little bit of a cop out for me to be like, oh, I'm just going to affirm and like my body's going to change. But like that's thinking very much in a sense of like short term. OK, maybe I'll manifest like a few pounds lost, but I don't just want to lose weight and like gain the weight back. I want to be a healthy person. I want to sustain that weight loss. I want to just be a person who is healthy, right? So that requires me to change my behaviors. That requires me to let go of certain habits, right? That's goal number one, weight loss or just health, the healthiest I've ever been. Goal number two is going all in on my business. Don't, don't get me wrong. I've been working hard on my business, but I feel like there's so much more that I could do and so much more that I could give to the world and share more value and be more of myself. So these were like my two goals. And I said, okay, what's going to help me get there? I knew that I was avoiding something when it comes to food. I knew I, I could be doing better. Obviously eating fast food out every single day is not serving me and my goals. One of the things I'm letting go of is eating any food outside of the house. So this has been a habit for a while because I was going to, I was in like a routine where I was going to the gym every day and then right away getting like an egg and cheese sandwich from Tim Hortons. And that just wasn't serving my bank account, my belly, my, the way I felt throughout the day. I was also going to Starbucks coffee shops cause I do work there every day and like getting an $8 drink every day. It just wasn't serving my highest self in any way. So I'm like, okay, if I get rid of this habit for 40 days, what do I do instead of that? Okay, I can make food at home. And okay, I can be more intentional about the food that I'm eating. And I could say my affirmations while I'm eating my food so that it just amplifies that process of me getting to my goal. So I had to face that and I had to say, okay, if I actually let this go for 40 days and I just stop myself every time my body just naturally habitually wants to get something to eat, instead of going to do it, I tell myself, meh, 40 days, 40 days, you're not doing it. You're challenging yourself because who, who would you become? I really am on a mission to see how much I can transform by acting in alignment with the version of me that I want to become. Right. And I urge you to think about for yourself as well. When you think about who you want to become, what is like that one habit or that one thing that you're doing that you feel like is pulling you back and tying you to this past identity? Like a lot of people in the group chat are giving up weed, giving up sex, giving up carbs, giving up um, other types of food restrictions, giving up some negative self-talk, giving up scrolling on their phone for 40 days or not going on their phone in the morning or going to bed at a certain time. Like all these different habits that like snowball into the other habits. But the, the point of this challenge is like, you can do anything for 40 days. You can have the discipline to push yourself for 40 days to stop doing a habit and imagine who you'd be on the other side, right? The whole point of it isn't to just do it for 40 days and like go back to our old habits. It's like by that time, we're probably not even going to want to go back to the old habits. 
So that's what I'm letting go of. And then I asked myself, you know, I, I want to embody this like content creation, CEO, leader energy, right? So I said, what's going to get me there if I do something every single day for 40 days? Who would I be at the end of this? I decided if I film something every single day for 40 days, I would be a completely new person. First of all, I'd have so much content out. I would also develop my skill of filming, develop that uh, discipline muscle of like just getting myself to sit down and film and get something out there, right? I, well, I don't just want to film to film and like have a, like be dreading it all the time. I want to enjoy the process. I want to be a person who loves what I do. And I can do that by putting myself in this position every single day where I have to stretch myself a little bit get a little bit uncomfortable, but for the sake of the greater vision, which is to become that version of myself who loves what I do, where it's just natural for me to sit down and like, how do I make this the best and funnest that I can? Okay, so those are the two things that, um, well, one thing that I'm leaving and calling in. There's like a few other things, but like, I feel like those are like the two biggest ones that I wanted to share with you. And now I want to invite you to let me know in the comment section down below what do you feel like are things that you can let go of in your life that don't serve you? Habits, belief systems, patterns, um, behaviors that you feel like you could let go of, like thought patterns even, communication styles, whatever, literally whatever. Okay, my card was full and I just deleted a video, so I'm still here. <laughs> yeah, this is really your opportunity to stop avoiding. Okay, this is your opportunity to really look at the thing that you know is standing in the way of you and your higher self. Like if you're honest with yourself, right? Like what is the one thing? And it's probably the thing that you're afraid of. It's probably the thing that you're afraid to let go of because that is where the transformation lies. That's where you're jumping into the unknown. Your ego wants to keep you stuck and, and, and keep you a part of that past identity where you're holding on to the things that keep you in this identity that you're currently at. But if you want to shift identities, you know that's the thing you got to let it go. What is that thing? Like, you know it's going to be a challenge, but you know that if you can do this for 40 days, you will be a completely new person. Where is your focus in that it maybe shouldn't be in? Are you giving a lot of your energy to something that's not in alignment with the thing that you're trying to create? Is there a person on your mind that you're thinking about 24 seven and instead of thinking about your business or your goals or your body, what are you avoiding? It's, it's not an easy question, but when you can answer it truthfully and actually face it, that's when you're actually going to see your life change. And this has been my experience. You know, I realized recently that I'm an avoider. Okay not easy to admit but i've been avoiding things like a lot whether that be like facing my finances facing my body and where i'm at facing the fact that i've been giving so much energy to specific thought patterns or specific people um things like that you know like just things that i'm like i could be doing better but i decided to avoid it and i'm not doing that anymore okay we're not in we're out of the avoiding phase and we're into the this is clearly hindering me from the life I want to create. Now let me work towards eradicating it. And I can do that for 40 days. And you can do that for 40 days. And imagine who you'll be at the end. Like just keep that vision, I feel. And like even having the support of this group chat is so like inspiring that it makes it like fun. Maybe you can do this with a friend. Maybe you can reach out to someone that you want to do this with, send this video to them, share it with them and be like, let's do this together, girl, because we need to keep each other accountable to creating a new life for ourselves. Maybe you want to apply for the one on one mentorship container with me and then I can keep you accountable and we can have a telegram chat and I can check in with you every day and, you know, whatever it is that you want to do. And I you can book a free discovery call with me if you get accepted from the application process and then we can talk all about your goals and where you want to be and what it is you want to let go of and what it is that you want to call in and how you can bridge that gap from where you are to where you want to be. Okay, so that's an option as well for those of you who want that additional support. 
right? So I want you to think expansively, think about who you could become, right? Bring light into the situation. It doesn't have to be so daunting and so hard. Like I have to give this up and it's so hard. And like, yeah, it might be hard for the ego, but if you remind yourself it's only 40 days and who am I going to become at the end of it? Like that's where your focus is in on who you're going to become at the end of it rather than who you are currently. Ma that's a massive perspective shift, massive. Imagine a world without that thing. Imagine a world where you don't have that addiction, you don't have that habit, where your focus is completely in the life that you're creating. You're doing that one thing every single day that you know is gonna move the needle forward in your life and in your business. Think about it. Let me know in the comment section down below what you've come up with. I can't wait to read all the comments. I know this one's gonna be a good one. And guys, like, oh, I don't know about you guys, but the energy's freaking shifting. The energy's shifting and things are getting so much better. And if you don't feel like that, then take some of my energy because things are getting better, okay? There was some energy, cosmic stuff going on that was like throwing us all for a loop, but things are getting better. Be optimistic about the future. You are still working towards the life that you are creating. Everything's going to change for you. Keep that vision in your mind so it makes the letting go process a lot easier. Trust yourself. Trust that intuitive nudge that's telling you that things got to go. That things got to go because it can no longer come to you to where you're with you to where you're going. Okay? So, that is all for me in this video, guys. I hope you got value, immense value from it. If you did, please leave it a like and a comment down below letting me know what was the most valuable thing you got from this video. Hit that subscribe button for new videos every every week, weekly. I used to say Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, but now I'm being more flowy with it. So weekly, that's what I'm committing to is weekly. <laughs> okay. Love you guys so much. I hope to see you in the masterclass tonight, 5 p.m. EST. Once again, link in the description of this video. And if you're watching this video after tonight, the video that if you're watching this video after May 25th, then click that link. Once again, same link, you'll get the replay. Okay, so love you guys so much. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.